Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today, oh, today, I am going to be telling you how to get yourself wet in just 60 seconds. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. So a question that I get a lot from my female followers is how can I get myself wet? When we're talking about getting wet for a woman, what we're really talking about is lubrication. And lubrication is arguably the most important part of having pleasurable sex for a woman. Because if a woman is not adequately lubricated, sex is going to be abrasive and downright painful. There's a lot of natural friction that goes on in sex, whether you're having penetrative sex with a penis or you're just having a partner touch your genitals and mutually masturbate. If your genitals are dry, that friction is going to over time cause inflammation and irritation. In short, dry sex is bad. So what can you do if you don't feel that you're getting wet enough? Well, I've got some tips in this video on not only how to get yourself wet, but how to get wet really quickly so that you can be ready to go in a moment's notice. Whether you're having sex alone or partnered sex, the rule is still the same that wetter is better. Okay, so this tip is probably not going to come as a surprise to anyone because it is the easiest, fastest tip that you can use. And that is simply just to reach for a bottle of KY jelly or your lube of preference. There are lots of great lubricants out there and apply it to your genitals and you'll be instantly lubricated. It's really as quick and easy as that. When you are applying lubricant, you only need to use a small amount. A little goes a long way. I usually like to use just kind of like a pea sized amount I'll put on my finger and then I will transfer it to my genitals. If you feel that you're drying out after a while, then just go ahead and add another pea-sized dollop to your finger and transfer it back down to your genitals. Now, all of this said, you might not be in a position to use lubricant. Perhaps you're already in the heat of the moment and you've realized that you don't have any lubricant on hand, or perhaps you're a younger viewer watching this and you aren't really in a position to go out and buy yourself lubricant. Well, good news, I do have some other tips, so keep on watching. Porn is a great way to explore your turn-ons and even different fantasies and get that lubrication flowing pretty efficiently. And that's because porn provides visual stimulation. And we know that there is a big connection between the brain and the vagina, which means that your eyes are essentially processing those turn on hot, sexy images that you're seeing in porn. And then that is getting processed and telling your vagina to get ready for sex because you are seeing those sexual images. So your brain essentially is telling your body that sex must be happening. And this is great whether you're on your own just masturbating or if you're with a partner. Now, if you're with a partner, you might be a little bit shy about bringing it up, but trust me, ladies, I don't think there is a man alive who wouldn't be down for watching some porn during sex. When you're watching the porn together, talk about the things that are turning you on. Oh my gosh, I love when he's doing that to her. That's really hot. I really want you to do that to me. That talking about what you're seeing is going to just further increase the arousal for you. And as you get more aroused, you're going to get a lot wetter. What if you don't have access to porn? Well, good news is you can create your own porn in your head and don't be ashamed because whatever you're thinking of, there is no wrong or right. You can go as crazy and wild as you want to in your own mind because at the end of the day, it's just your imagination. No one else knows what you're thinking except for you. So think about the things that drive you wild and your brain is going to send those signals to your body that it's time to get wet and ready for sex. 
Okay, so obviously this one is only going to work if you have a partner, but it works very quickly and very effectively for most women. Research has found that there are some sort of intense signals that the brain starts sending off to your body during deep, passionate kissing that really trigger very intense arousal, specifically in women, a lot more than in most men. Women are very turned on just by the sensual, very connected, intimate nature of kissing. So if you're having sex with your partner that's not getting you super lubricated, you might also find that you're not actually having a lot of time during sex for kissing. Next time you go to have sex with your partner, simply try long, deep, passionate kissing. You're going to find that if you do that, just even for a couple of minutes, by the time your clothes come off, you are naturally just going to be more lubricated and more ready for sex. Okay, so this one is for my solo sex ladies. If you are masturbating, you can actually have foreplay on your own. I'm masturbating. I told you I'd be doing that all day today. Now, for those of you that don't know what foreplay is, I made a whole video about it, which I will link up here if YouTube lets me. If not, I will link it in the description down below. But in a nutshell, foreplay is just all of that touching, caressing, kissing, just niceness that happens before penetrative sex. And it's really the stuff that helps kind of warm our body up and get us in the mood and mindset to be able to have sex. And part of that is getting lubricated. Now you can have foreplay on your own, just use your own hands and touch your body in the same way that you would like someone else to touch you. For a lot of women, the breasts are incredibly sensual, erotic areas. And if that's for you, then touch your breasts. Do the thing that feels good for you. There's no right or wrong. If touching your feet makes you feel good, then do that. Give yourself a deliciously slow, sensual foot massage. You're gonna find that very quickly that's going to trigger your body's erotic response, which is to tell your vagina to get lubricated. If you do not get this point right, then none of the techniques that I've shared with you guys in this video are going to help at all. And that's because when you get stressed, it essentially tells your body to turn off your sexual responses. That means that if you're stressing about something, maybe it's something that happened at school or work or something, you know, an argument that you're having with a friend or family member, it's going to be nearly impossible to get yourself to get wet. Stress is something that is there to really keep us safe. If you go back to say cavemen times, right, when people were like running around having to hunt their own food, when someone got stressed, it usually meant that their life was in danger, right? They would get stressed when like they were being chased by like a lion or a tiger or something. And so stress is there to shut down all of the non-essential processes in your body and give more energy to the essential process of being able to run really fast and breathe really quickly so that you can get away from danger. That's why a lot of times when you feel stress and you feel anxiety, your breathing will sometimes quicken. It's your body's way of trying to get more air into your lungs so that you can run away from a perceived danger. What you wanna be able to do in that situation is to basically trick your body into turning off that stress response. And the best way to do that is to engage in some form of relaxation technique. For me, something that's really effective is just having a bath. If I soak in hot water, and especially if I dim the lighting, I turn off the bathroom lights and I'll just light some candles, it just soothes my body and gets me into that more relaxed state. For some people, it might be just listening to some music that makes you feel really happy, or it might even be just concentrating on your breathing there are some great apps for um, controlled breathing that can really help to calm your stress response. If you're someone who has consistently been having difficulty with getting wet, you might find that you're also someone that's dealing with a lot of stress or maybe even anxiety. Now, a lot of people don't make this connection, but your body's lubrication requires your body itself to be lubricated with actual 
water. So really ask yourself if you're drinking enough water during the day. You should be drinking at least at a bare minimum eight glasses of water a day in order to stay healthy and have that regular digestion and also to have that healthy sexual response. So the reason you may be struggling with getting enough lubrication going when you're trying to masturbate or when you're going to have sex could be that you're just dehydrated and not drinking enough water. This is a tip I give anyone who doesn't have a bottle of lube on hand and just wants a really quick fix when they're in a pinch and it is to simply spit onto your own hand and then use that saliva on your genitals. Your saliva is safe, it's healthy, it's okay to use and it does work quite well as a natural lubricant when you are in a pinch and just want a quick fix. Now if you've tried all of these techniques and you're still struggling with a lot of dryness down there, I do really recommend that you go and see your doctor or your gynecologist. It's really important to make sure that you are in good health. Sometimes vaginal dryness can actually be a sign of a hormone imbalance or it could be a sign of a health issue. And so it is really important to address that. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe. I'm here three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, making videos on sex, love, life, mental health, and everything in between. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Mwah.